The Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, is the most common transport layer protocol by far. Almost all of the web's traffic runs over TCP. This includes HTTP traffic, mail traffic, etc. On the left side, we have our client computer, or our sending computer. And on the right side, we have our server, or our receiving computer. So the sending computer is going to establish a session with the receiving side. The receiving side is going to establish that session. It's going to, it's going to say, OK, I'm ready. Send me some data. So the sending computer is going to send several data sets. So in this example, it sends data set 1, data set 2, and data set 3. Let's say data set 2 goes missing. For whatever reason, somewhere along the way, it just disappeared, which happens. It's a real life scenario on the internet. The receiving computer will confirm receipt of the data sets. So it will say, I received data set 1 and data set 3. After a timeout period, data set 1 will realize that data set 2 was never received since it never received confirmation. So it will automatically resend data set 2. The receiving computer will confirm that data set 2 was received. And now the receiving or the sending computer will know that the entire data set was received by the sending side. All of that happens automatically by the networking stack. Your application knows nothing about this process. Let's compare this to UDP, or User Datagram Protocol, and then we'll discuss the pros and cons of the various of each, each protocol. So in UDP, the sending computer does not establish a session first. It just starts sending data. Here's data set 1, here's data set 2, here's data set 3. Again, let's say data set 2 goes missing for whatever reason. The way, what will happen next is the sending computer will send data set 4, data set 5, data set 6. In the transport layer protocol, there is no built-in mechanism to resend um, lost packets. UDP is great if it's OK to be missing some data. Video conferencing is, is a great example. Let's say data set 2 represented second 2 in a video conference. By the time that TCP would realize that data set 2 is missing and the sending computer reset that packet, we would already be several seconds down in the conversation. So taking that second of the video conference and replaying it five or six seconds later would be completely inappropriate. So UDP with the lower overhead, there's not the, all the overhead of the sessions process, is much more efficient. So it's better for something like video conferencing. Usually, we care about the data. We, we need all the data. So TCP is the preferable choice. Web, web pages are a great example. If it takes three data sets to transmit a web page to your computer, you can't have one of the data sets missing and still be able to render the page.